Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm standing here in my workshop where I have finally gotten some internet that is uh, up and running and working. Um, and now for the people following, they know I am a sto um, storage provider. And uh, that means I have another IP4 address. So I thought to myself, what a great time to be building another server. Now I'm going to building a 164 terabyte server. It's gonna uh, have uh, 12 spinning hard drives only one of them is going to be dedicated to Stoy because I have one IP4 address. Um, and then in the future, when that fills up, I can always dedicate more space. Two of the other drives are going to be used for other uh, personal projects. And one of them is also going to be used for um, hosting a server that I'm going to be building myself that needs some hard drive space. Um, so only four of the, the hard drives are actually going to be up and running and powered on. And the rest of them, I just have, I have them laying around. So I'm just going to have them ready for whenever I need to expand either story or personal projects or other hobbies that I'm doing. Um, and I thought what a great chance to make a video and show you how I'm going to build this server. It's going to be a mix of SAS and SATA drives of all kinds of sizes. I'm going to show you here in a bit. Um, and it's going to have two NVMEs, uh, one for the OS system and one for caching. Uh, not caching in the traditional sense, more just like caching for where I want to put temporary files or high files that need to load and high speed. And I don't want to bottle down the OS system. Um, and also it's a 250 gig NVMe that I just have laying around. So might as well use it. And for story, I can use it for logs and database files and this kind of stuff. Um, so I can fine tune my, my story setup uh, to be running smoothly. So let's, I will show you the hardware now and then we're going to get started building the server and yeah, should be great. All right, so here is uh, some of the parts that I have. Um, we got a motherboard that is a 9th gen Intel i5, 9400 in it. Uh, very simple, integrated graphics, nothing special. Um, it's a board with a lot of expandability. As you can see, we have many PCIe lanes, um, which means that in the future, I can always connect more drives if I wish to, as well as adding more RAM because we have many RAM slots and all in all, it's just gonna be great for this purpose. It's got two NVMe spaces and an uh, NVMe uh, internet uh, Wi-Fi space. So one there, uh, one here, and then we got one down here. Um, then we got uh, four SATA ports, which should be enough. And then I, of course, have my uh, expansion card. Moving on to some of the storage, I got quite a few of these Seagate Exos um, Enterprise 12 terabyte disks. Then I got three of these, which are um, eight terabyte uh, heavily packed HP disks, um, probably also manufactured by Seagate, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you can see one of them right here, 18 terabytes. Then we got some Seagate Exos, uh, 16, 10, 16, and eight terabytes. And all in all, this totals 164 terabytes, of course. And then after formatting, and of course, some data will not be it will not be a full 164 terabytes, but it's something. So quite well. I got a old um, 550 watt power supply that has plenty of cables. So that should be great. It's what I had laying around. So I had it already. So it's free. Then I got these two NVMEs, one gigabyte and one Kingston one. They're both 250 gigabytes. And then I have some slow dual channel uh, crucial RAM. This is going to be whatever. I didn't have the newer model Intel stock cooler because that's way more than enough for this kind of i5. And then I have an expansion card with two um, uh, expansion slots right here. And then I have uh, the cables for the SAS drives because many of these are actually SAS drives. And then these ones will take care of the SAS drives themselves. Now, one thing I did notice is that this and this, and this and this and this, they're all SATA drives and I only got four so you can see four SATA um, slots down here. So eventually I either need to switch one of these to SAS drives, but I don't have SAS right now, or I need to just get a uh, SATA ex ex expander that I can put in the PCI, which I should be able to do just fine. Um, but as I said earlier in the video, it's actually not a problem because I'm not gonna be using all of the drives at once. I'm just gonna configure and build most today and then the drives are there in the system so that I can always spin them up if I actually need the additional space. Now, um, to house all this, I've bought an Intertech server uh, case. It is the Intertech uh, 30255. Um, it can house 12 
uh, 3.5 inch uh, hard drive so that's actually perfect for my need and uh, yeah that's what we're going to be building in so i say let's do it let's get started all right so just a quick uh, showcase of the case here we got space for i believe five hard drives here four here and then three here um and then we got some front io and some indicators that's all fine here there's a fan and then on the uh wall here running there's three fans as well they're powered by molex as far as i believe um which is fine i mean i can always change them out if i want and then i think we're just gonna do a little peel here wow this is this is really hard to get off okay i'm gonna do that off camera but um yeah i'll open it up and i'll show you all right, so I went ahead and peeled off the uh, plastics and took off the lid. And as we can see here, we got these three fans uh, sitting. Now these are uh, swappable, which means you can pull them out and you can change out the fans that's sitting here. It's a simple uh, pin header here, but unfortunately they are controlled with a, I don't know if it's easy to see or not, but they are controlled with a Molex connector down here. Um, so I don't know if you can control the speed, but honestly, I don't really care because I'm not going to be close to the server. So even if it's a bit loud, either I swap them out to some more uh, silent fans, which means I just I don't I won't need to control the speed, which is fine. Um, and it's a nice addition that they come with the case and that they are uh, plugged in this way. Uh, really easy to uh, just install. Now, as you can see here, there's a bit of cabling. This is for front I.O. USB 3.0 and the uh, header as you can see quite a lot of indicators that's really nice to see and then here there is a molex cable that is for the fan that is hiding in here um so there's actually four fans within this case when you buy it and then there's space for two additional fans here and then of course you have your power supply here which will also have a fan pulling air from the bottom up and out of here um, so this is really great. I think now we're going to prepare the motherboard and have it inserted into the case. All right, now the relevant front IO is also inserted. I think it's time to put in the power supply. All right, now the power supply has been screwed in and four SATA cables has been added. So great progress so far. All right, so I have routed one of the uh, Molex cables through this hole that is right here. This is to ensure that we can power the, the fans here. The bottom one down here, the Molex bottom one, uh, hard to see. But underneath the white one, there's a Molex, and then there's the white Molex sitting. The white one goes to the fan that's hiding in here, and the other one is going to these three. So all I need to do is plug in the Molex right here, and then I still got three Molex connectors here that I can use for hard disks sitting right here. Very nice. All right, so right now I'm going to add uh, five SATA drives to this unit right here. Whoops. They're going to be sitting in here, and then I'm going to attach it to the, ca uh, the case once again. All right, so it's quite an easy process, and the case gives you everything you need. Uh, all you have to do is you have to insert these uh, black strips in the holes, as you can see right here. Then once you've done that, you can just slide them in, and they just click in to this metal casing right here. It's really genius, so very easy installation. 
All right, so I've just finished loading up five hard drives. These are all SAS hard drives uh, sitting in this metal casing. Um, so I'm gonna, hit, gonna go ahead and slide it into the case right now. All right, so status currently is that I got all these five SATA drives inserted and I was trying to route the, um, the cable here, um, the SAS cable. I tried routing it through the hole that is right here, but it was just too short to reach this PCI lane which means I'm going to be limited to reaching this PCI lane, which kind of sucks because if I have my SAS controller right up against the power supply, then there'll be less airflow and no opportunity to add a fan for this heatsink here. And these can get quite hot because a lot of data is going through. So that, that PCI lane is one that I don't want to use. I want to use this one so I can add a fan to the um, express card. So I had some problems. I was thinking, how can I solve this? because I can't route this way, it's the cable is not, too, not long enough. And I thought of going through the fan, fan here, but that means I won't have any fan in the middle, which will take away airflow from all of these hard drives right here. So the solution I came up with is actually running it over here because this metal barrier is actually, and the cables, they're actually slim enough that I can have it laying on, on like right on here and still be able to put the cover on top. I tested it. And it's no problem. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so, so far, so good. I'm going to continue adding the rest of the hard drives and then I'll see you in a bit. All right. So now there is 11 hard drives uh, put into the chassis. Some of them are wired up. Some of them are not, as you can see. Got some drives here. 11. Um, three of these, no, sorry. Four of these are SATA, which matches how many SATA uh, connections I have on this motherboard. The rest are SAS, and I left the 12th one out because it's a SATA drive. I don't have uh, the right connections right now, so I'm going to leave it out. I can always plug it in at a later point, either when I get more uh, SAS drives or when I get a uh, connection for that uh, SATA drive. As I said, I don't need it right now, so it's fine, uh, which means what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, wire up all of the power, all of the data cables, uh, put in the fans, and then do some cable management. And then we'll have a look at actually booting up this uh, server and get it running. Just a quick little tip. If you have a spare fan that is better quality than the one that comes with the case, you can quite easily swap this one out. Um, and you can do so with the other ones. I swapped this one out because it's Molex and I wanted PVM so I can actually control them. Uh, I know I said earlier in the video that I didn't want that, but I listened to the fans. They were too loud, so I swapped it out. Very easy. All right, so just in between the clips that I've taken, I actually went and ordered this on Amazon. I waited a couple of days and it arrived. And this is just a simple PCI one lane to two uh, uh, SATA connections. This way, I'll actually be able to wire up all 12 hard drives um, from the beginning, which means that I'll be able to just know exactly how the server is behaving with all drives in it. And I can always scale up the usage of the drives later. Um, it was important for me to get everything working and connected uh, in the start which does may mean that I'm going to be leaving this one unused, this is a SAS connector, and I'm going to be having um, seven SAS drives and the rest will be uh, SATA drives. So I'm going to go ahead and wire up this one and wire up all the last things and then maybe do some cable management. And then we'll see if we can get all 12 uh, hard disks recognized in Windows. Also, I went ahead and bought some little fans they were extremely cheap, so they'll be put on here uh, just because, I mean, it's nice to have them, right? So, yes. All right, so the server is up and spinning. Every hard drive is spinning. We got everything working. Everything's wired up. I tried to do some cable management. It's not good, but it's a bit. Um, I got the uh, all the fans installed. Uh, everything's working nicely. I'm looking at the drives now. I just uh, named them in Windows. And as you can see, there is 14 drives. 12 of them are the uh, spinning mechanical drives and two of them are NVMe drives. So I got the NVMe for the C drive where we, I'm keeping the OS system. And then I got an NVMe burner for like temporary files and tests and whatever I want to do. Um, just because I had a laying around, so it was free. So as I said, one of these disks is going to be uh, allocated to Stoy and uh, three of them are going to be allocated to my own projects and the rest are going to be plucked out for, for now. Um, but they are here. They are ready to go whenever I need them for future projects, which will definitely not take too long. Um, so all in all, success. Now, you might be wondering, well, can you even close this case because of all the wires that are hanging over the um, 
the wall here uh, where the fans are and i'm just going to do that now as far as i'm aware it's not going to be a problem but i'll just show you so give me a moment and i'll put the the, the lid on top of the, the server case all right so as you can see just like that the case is now put on no issues the server is turned on everything's running great and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to using it it's uh, been a really nice build and with that guys i would like to say thank you so much for watching um it has been a pleasure to build the server again it's been a while since i've built the server i've mostly just been doing desktop pcs um but uh, very nice of you to uh, to to watch um if you enjoyed the video uh consider giving it a like and if you want to see more of me and computer stuff maybe give me a follow um, or subscribe or whatever you want to call it thank you so much have a great day